Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamie Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop competition today. In fact, I'm not sure if this is a competition or not. I just saw by the thumbnail, it might be just a showcase of some dancers dancing or it could be a showcase competition. The Old Soul at Pingo Lettuce. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I liked and what I didn't like about whatever this showcase means. Are we ready for it? Thank you. All right, here we go. Uh, this, I've never seen this event before. Pingo Lettuce. I'm not sure even if I'm saying it right. Nice logo. The Old Souls. Yes! Yes! Ah, yes! Yes! <clears throat> this is different, okay. <laughs> yes! I see you! Ah, oh, I like that transition. Yes. <laughs> that Latin rhythm in there, I like it. Yeah. Yes. Swing out. It's not over, folks. Yes, chaos. <laughs> Yes. 
yes. That was good. That was good. Yes. Good dancing. Great dancing. Yes. Yes, the audience felt that too. This was really enjoyable to watch. It's really it's really rare to be able to capture a, 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 the song in an energetic way. Sometimes there's a disconnectedness between the dancers and the, the energy of the song. But I felt like these dancers were showing me the music. I could have had this video on mute and guessed the style of swing music they were dancing to. Just like that. Just because there were there were two people that really stood out to me, uh, the the number one was the it was the charisma and energy coming off this dancer. He had like a tan jacket on, tannish white, like the other two guys. Uh, he had green pants on. Yes, green pants. There was just this this charismatic feeling of, of energy. I don't know if maybe he and maybe the guy with the blue pants were the choreographers. There's, there's a little bit more intensity in their movement that says that it didn't just come from here, meaning like cognitively they computed the ideas into their body and then they tried to do it. No, I didn't feel like that. I felt like they were Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson and everybody else was kind of background dancers. You know what I mean? That feeling when you can tell who's the, the leader and those who are the ones that are like the puzzle pieces, right? Um, those two dancers really stood out to me. In a very positive way. I would say keep watching those two. There's too much passion. Like this this right here. You can see that coming out of their dancing. There was a cool, calm disposition in their dancing that was bursting with energy. How can you have those two ideas working at the same time? That's jazz for me. That's swing for me. It's always contrast. Black, white, male, female, rhythm section, soloists, call, response. Right? So the, the part I liked is that they mastered the quietness of the upper body, the calm, collected part where this part doesn't move too much. Their hands might do different things. Their facial expressions and their heads might move. Their legs are going crazy, though. That part, they, they mastered that. So that, that beautiful dichotomy of energy and uh, control really captured that song for me because that song sounded like that. The song sounded just like the way they were dancing. I also liked really some of the transitions in this dance. Um, they were doing some things all together and all of a sudden everybody moved to my left when I watched the screen and then all of a sudden those two guys uh, came out and they were doing some like a little solo together. <sighs> that was some really cool choreography. What I, what I really enjoyed most about that section was that it, it wasn't too choreographed where both dancers looked the same. I could see they were doing the same movements, but I didn't feel like they were when I saw it. You know what I mean by that? It's like they still had their distinct personality while they were doing it. And I, for me, think I think that's the best kind of dancing where I can appreciate the simplicity of the choreography, but I don't lose the inspiration that I felt from the individual dancers. Um, I can't get it say it any better than that. That is like the best kind of dancing for me when it is a troupe, but everyone has their unique, distinct characteristics. And, and that's beautiful. That's swing for me. That's swing. I love the fact that the audience is being sincere. They were responding. I mean, you can't fake certain responses. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. A lot of people do. They see their favorite person come out. <laughs> they just do that. I just look at those people like, stop. You do that every single time for every single person. Stop it. <laughs> That's how I, I never do it. That's how I think sometimes. Because I'm just like in it. I'm like looking for new, fresh ideas, something to move me emotionally with dance. And those people are kind of a distraction. But this audience, they were engaged. I mean, I'm looking at the thumbnail now. They're just, they're still clapping. They're happy. They're, they're, the, the song made me feel like that. And they're dancing perfectly fitted. That's beautiful, guys. So the old souls, 
they're legit. I would keep watching them. I don't know if this is like their first routine or not. I will say there were some elements in this that I wasn't sure were deliberate or not. And that's not good because they had a lot of fractured uh, sections that could have been intentional where it was like a call response with different dancers and based on their placement or across the floor. I don't know if it was like a call response, um, but, but at the same time, it could have been. But I could tell that it probably wasn't because some of the